hi friends in this tutorial we are going to learn about the point curve joint mechanism so right now i am in the digital mockup dme kinematics where i have simulated this uh, parts with the point curve joint and uh, prismatic joint so in this tutorial we are going to learn from a sketch to uh, simulation process so right now i am going to close this in this method we are going to create so I'm going to start with a new product. So starting with digital mockup, DMU kinematics. This is the top-down approach which I am going to create. So just to insert, go to insert and uh, select new part and click on the product. You will be inserting a new part. So open this tab and uh, cl double click on the part one. You will be shifting to the part workbench. So now I'm going to select a re center rectangle. This will be of 200 length, and uh, the height will be of uh, 150. Exit workbench pad up to 20, 10 mm. So now we need to sketch a spline uh, with the help of a spline we are going to create a curve so we have created a curve on the surface so now I'm, I'm going to shift uh, to the digital mockup DME kinematics so now I'm going to insert another part new part just click on the product click yes so minimize open this time and uh, double click on the part 2 I'm going to create a link 1 for here this will be of uh, 100 mm and uh, the distance will be 10 mm pad up to 10 mm reverse direction preview ok so now we have created a link one now double click shifting to this DME kinematic same new part click on the product yes close this tab open this tab and double click on this creating a new part here so ten mm exit workbench So now we have created a link to also so now I'm going to place a hole on the surface so that the pointer can be fixed here the dia for this will be 5 mm and uh, I'm going to constrain the edges the height will be also 5 mm So pocket okay now we have created a link to also exiting the workbench same now I'm going to insert another part now insert go to insert new parts click on the product yes open the part 4 now we are going to create a pointer which shall follow the curve continuously so okay the distance will be here will be 100 mm say up to 100 mm and uh, 
this will be of 2.5 radius so the hole was uh, 5 dia so I'm given 2.5 let's take 90 as it so exit workbench so now I'm using shaft to rotate at 360 degrees so here it is asking for two things one is the axis and another one is a profile so I'm selecting the axis now this will be act as the axis and the profile will be the entire one preview okay so we have created a pointer now so now we need to place a point on the pointer points is must because it will be asking in a point curve mechanism it will be asking to select a point so place a point go inside exit workbench so in this way you can place a point so this is the these are the four parts now we have created in my next video i am going to show you this assembly and simulation process hope you like this video if you have any comments you can comment in this video thanks for watching have a nice day bye